bad, and we know there's other bad examples, but as a whole, 2,000 years of Christianity, it has brought us some of the good things of Western civilization. Not claiming Christians are perfect, or it was a perfect process. I'm just saying Christians fought for this, these uh, things within their worldview. And finally, that Western civilization is the product of Christian social philosophy. Again, I made a few points, and uh, hopefully we'll get some questions and talk about them some more. Okay, that's all I got. No problem. In that case, Lance, you may begin your four-minute closing statement when ready. I thought I got a question. Question. You did. You started with the question round. The question round was the first seven minutes. Oh, of the I thought I had an additional one. All right. Then. Okay. Uh, just to address a few final points, uh, Alex has likened and kind of thrown me in the camp with uh, Hitler and Stalin and Mao and all these people. I just had a couple quotes that showed the problem with this. Uh, the first is by David Eller, who's an author of the book Natural Atheism. He said, Atheism wasn't the factor responsible for their actions. Religion was simply competing for a rival niche, which was removed from the picture so that the state could take its place and force upon people state control, conformity of thought, and fanatical cults of personality centered on leaders, often bordering on or explicitly turning in acts of worship. Numerous examples dot the landscape of history of leaders deifying themselves, from Roman emperors to the emperors of Japan, donning religion as a mantle on which to further tighten their authoritarian grasp. No, the gulags and genocides of the supposedly atheism-inspired lunatic leaders of the 20th century were in truth engaged in on the basis of what are in fact quasi-religious state ideologies, which I oppose for the same reason I oppose religion, because they are based on irrationality and faith. Now, Alex has claimed that I hold some sort of faith position. Well, I said, I don't know. How is that a faith position? Uh, I, I don't know what the answers to these questions are. I don't maintain an answer in the absence of justification. I may speculate, but ultimately, no, my position is not one based on faith. Now, Alex also made some comments earlier where he suggested that Darwin was somehow promoting some sort of racist ideology, and then he quoted Lincoln as a sort of liberator. Uh, there's a problem with this. Darwin came from a long line of abolitionists, and he was pretty much avidly opposed to racism by the standards of his day. Well, Abraham Lincoln himself made comments that were, well, I'll let you hear them for yourself. Here's a quote from Abraham Lincoln. I will say then that I am not, nor have ever have been in favor of bringing about in any way the social and political equality of the black and white races, that I am not, nor ever have been in favor of making voters or jurors of Negroes nor of qualifying them to hold office, nor to intermarry with white people. And I will say in addition to this, that there's a physical difference between the white and black races, which will forever forbid the two races living together on terms of social and political equality. And inasmuch as they cannot so live, while they do remain together, there must be the position of superior and inferior. And I, as much as any other man, am in favor of having the superior position assigned to the white race. Uh, Darwin, on the other hand, said that uh, just to quote the end of the comment that he made, this point once being reached, there is only an artificial barrier to prevent his sympathies extending to the men of all nations and races. Now, uh, Darwin actually, when he was on the voyage of the Beagle, he encountered slaves and he became friends with many of them, and he was an advocate for their well-being and their better treatment. So we see here that one of the things Alex has done is kind of cherry-picked his quotes to portray atheists and something that many atheists, uh, anybody who bases anything on evidence, ascribes to evolution in a bad light, and that's not really how you should do things. Uh, so, finally, I'd like to close by just saying that Alex has not really countered uh, a lot of the points that I've made. He hasn't presented really very good alternative evidence to my suggestion that secular societies have, there's considerable evidence that they're better off. Uh, he showed that happiness is higher among religious people, but really what these studies actually show is that it's the social network and it's the practices that these people engage in that make them happy. And the same benefits have been found in people who attend uh, yoga classes and meditation and even sports events. So I wanted to end by uh, quoting Robert Ingersoll, who sums up my uh, argument. Uh, Ingersoll said, Our civilization is not Christian. It does not come from the skies. It is not the result of inspiration. It is the child of discovery, of applied knowledge, that is to say, of science. When man becomes great and grand enough to admit that all have equal rights, when thought is untrammeled, when uh, uh, when thought is untrammeled, when worship shall consist in doing useful things, when religion means a discharge of obligations to our fellow men, then and not until then will the world be civilized. Thank you, Mr. Bush.
And once again, I would like to thank the Center for Inquiry, the Florida Atheist and Secular Humanists, and the Calvary Chapel of Fort Lauderdale, and especially our two excellent speakers tonight, Alex O'Kay and Mark Two things to bring to your attention, ladies and gentlemen. One, there will be a 10-minute intermission, in which, after which we will have microphones set up on either side of the auditorium. Our speakers will come down a little bit closer to us, and we will allow you to ask concise questions of both speakers. Secondly, at the end of the night, there will be a poll taking place to see what the general opinions of the audience is. So, I thank you for your attentiveness, I thank you for your politeness, and I will see you in 10 minutes. I hope you study for that quiz. The restroom is right out of that door.